and we got our 17 from here to here. All right, welcome back. You can see it's getting warmer out here. Some of the snow starting to melt outside, so that's good for us since we can uh, be in here a little bit longer. Just looking at what the cats have destroyed in my garage so far. But anyways, today I think we're gonna take that piece of wood and kind of brace between the dash and the floor to get my 17. And then we'll start trimming this inner rocker to get it where it's level with the uh, floor pan. If we get that taken care of, then I may put the kick panel on and see how that lines up with the inner rocker and the floor pan here. Other than that, I think I'm gonna keep it kind of short because this is the last day that we friggin' have snow on the ground and I wanna get out there and play with the kiddos a little bit more. Let's try to square this up in the back and get this, see if that'll work. I'll put that piece of wood in here. Let's see if that'll give me my correct inches. Cause I think the back springs on this is kind of kind of lost their tension. So I think that's what's throwing our measurement off here. I think if we had this off off the frame and actually on some blocks that are level, everything would be level. But uh, I'm hoping that doing this right here won't throw off anything through here. I, I, I think I'm right, but I'm not sure. Go ahead and do this and uh, see what we come up with. All right, so basically we're gonna take this and put it in here. I already uh, measured it off the underside of this uh, panel here on this flange because there's no way to put this there. The best part, put it here and kind of just like that. And that should give us our 17 inches, hopefully. But we'll measure that and then we'll start to if it measure 17 from there to the floor. Then we'll start marking this back here to cut it. And then we'll get this inner rocker squared away to the floor. And then we can put the uh, kick panel on, see how that lines up with everything. Anyways, that's, that's my plan today. So uh, put you on ladder over here and we'll start doing some stuff. Okay, I think we're in a pretty good spot. This is pretty level again. This panties come up a little bit right here. It's like that way. It's not too bad with the inner rocker pretty level and it's pretty level back there I did have to jack this up some and it's off level a little bit and if it keeps it kind of stays about the same but I did get my 17 from that point to the floor. So thinking that this may be how it needs to be. What we're gonna do next is start trimming this off back here and then we'll put everything back in. Let's push this flat and make some more, more screw holes in it. And then push it flat against that and we're gonna have new, new holes. But I think these are okay. And some of the ones on the brace are all right. I do think though, you can see how we got off. So I may screw it in this side first and then push this down and it should bring it somewhat back in here, I think. I'm gonna cut this first and go from there.
we level across here, level across there, and pre-level across there, as well as this pan too. A uh, little high through here. But I think that's just because the leaf springs are wore out on that side. And we got our 17 from here to here. So I think hopefully next week it'll be warming up. And we can come in here and uh, start prepping all this to be welded. Cause I think I'm at the spot where I need to start putting some tack welds in and getting the floor kind of in there. But I think, I think we're, we're good down here. We just need to make sure this kick panel is right where it is. And uh, then we can start tacking it together. And sorry, I was checking something out over here. It's pretty, pretty close on the uh, holes. Of course, that one's way off, but we can fix that. I mean, no, no big deal. But I do think we need to bend this flange maybe a little bit back so it meets up with this, uh, uh, the firewall a little bit better. But other than that, I think we're in a pretty good position going into the weekend. Thank you for watching. I think we're in a good spot with this right now. Just need to work on the kick panel a little bit more. I think the floor is pretty good. It's all pretty level and I got my 17. So I think we can, uh, and I got no, no tension up and no pressure coming up from the bottom. So I think we're pretty good on the floor wise. Just need to uh, take it back, all back out, prep everything, weld through primer, put it all back in and make sure everything's still uh, square and correct then we just start tacking all those holes i know i put a bunch of them in there so probably more than it needs i gotta make a few more holes in this uh inner rocker here then hopefully that floor will be done so we need to look at the center or this kick panel make sure it's right you know make sure the doesn't need the need to come out or in like swing like this to make this straight and then we'll get this tacked in and then we'll start messing with the door pillar. I post every Monday, Wednesday, Friday, something on the Bronco. This channel is dedicated to getting this Bronco back on the road, the Healy back on the road, and the Camaro, which is outside there. Then a couple other trucks, I got a 65 GMC short wide and a 50 Chevrolet 3100 that need to come in here and be uh, restored as well. Pretty happy with how it's going in here so far. Didn't I think today's the 19th, so we may be on par to get this in by the end of the month, which is awesome because I really think we got it dialed in almost there. Or just to make sure, I was make sure it's, it's correct. But uh, if you have any thoughts, ideas, or suggestions, if you think it's good, let me know. If not, uh, let me know what I need to do. But right now, everything's level and I got my 17, so I think we're close. But Anyways, thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time. How sweet the brothers are.